Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Imani and I love all things planner and self-care related. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss new content. In today's shorty episode, welcome to shorty episode number two, we are going to walk through some of my favorite inserts and layouts from 2023. Now, just a caveat, this is all I could find what I had in the 2022 archive box. Would that be 2022? Okay, we got it in the 2022 subscription box from Cloth and Paper. I think the intent was to use it to store through 2022 inserts, but I used it to store inserts throughout 2023. So we're gonna call it the 2023 box. As you know, this year we received kind of the same box, but in that Renaissance-esque silver color. Um, I will be using that for I don't know what yet because some of these inserts, I love them. We're gonna walk through my favorites and then they need to be recycled. So let's get started. What's really fun about this process is that a lot of it is kind of like it jogs your memory, right? Like I love looking at old inserts, remembering what I was planning. One day I will try to get my old planners from my parents' house back from like 2019 and 2020 because I used like Erin Condren back then, I used Happy Planner, and I know those evoked so many fun memories for me, but this is also fun as well. So let's go through my favorites. So these favorite insert layouts, whatever, are going to be completely random in a random order. It was so fun to kind of look through my inserts quickly and just pick some that I wanted to walk through and, and talk about why they're my favorites because I think what you will see is that a lot of these inserts that I'm going to show from 2023 are my favorites for different reasons. So starting up with this insert, I loved it for a couple reasons. One, I love the highlighters here and it's not even beige. That is copper from Mildliner and olive from Mildliner. Even though I think it was last video or the last plan with me, we talked about how, oh, it was the 2023 pen subscription box from cloth and paper that green kind of looked olive to me so we're just gonna call it olive green whatever i liked the different highlighters here but also i think this shows the versatility of a notes page um you can use it for practically anything and that's what i always try to encourage and even force myself to do right especially in 2024. notes pages can be used for anything you can use them for to-do list to buy list use it for all of that, or you can just pull it out and use it to plan your day. Like you don't have to only track list. You can do your schedule on one side, have some encouraging words on the other side, track your water intake. There's so many things you can do here. So I like this. This definitely shows the versatility of how you can use the notes pages and not just using it for only one list. Why don't you use it for multiple lists, right? And then I had a to buy list and I'm like, oh, I need a few things from Amazon. So I tracked that as well. Okay, so I pulled out this insert because I think it shows how much I really enjoyed the weekly admin insert this year. That was a new kind of joy sparker for me because prior to that, I hadn't really used weekly admin. Let me know if you use weekly admin inserts. This was absolutely gorgeous and I loved it because it shows again like how I really like to use this. I get to track what's coming up next week. Just a few things, nothing major. Then I get to track some major items or major tasks or meetings going on during the day. Here I even track to-do lists with some inserts and sticky notes. So this was honestly, I, I think it embodies why I really fell in love with Weekly Admin. So on these next two inserts that I wanted to show, as you can see, a lot of it is so minimal, but I love them all. I, I pulled these out and when I was looking at these, I pulled them out and I, I said, wow, like I really do love the versatility of using like an insert planner versus like an already bound planner. And that's because again, you can add whatever you need. These are both notes, but they're very different from this notes page, right? Like this was for a particular event and it had multiple to-do to -do lists on here. This one was like a to-do list for November, 2023. And it was simple. I crossed things out as they were completed and I squiggled things out as they were canceled or moved to a different um, monthly to-do list, right? And this page shows an example of like podcast notes. Loved it. I was able to just write and take notes 
and I went back and highlighted the questions or highlighted the topics that I wanted to stand out on the paper. So uh, honestly, if I could only have one insert in my entire planner, it would be lined inserts for sure. Next up is actually this weekly layout from December of 2023. I absolutely love those avant-garde sticky notes and the white marker that I use to write on them. Absolutely gorgeous. It adds like this depth, I think, to the planner because everything is like white and neutral. And of course you think of black when you think of neutral, but you don't think of black sticky notes. And I think that's why I really fell in love with them this week. Um, I know I usually squiggle things as I complete them or as I cancel them and then cross it out when I complete them. Here, I think I just squiggled everything out as I completed them. So it was a really productive week this week. As you can see, I was taking notes everywhere. I had to-do lists everywhere. I even have a sticky note over here for to-do lists. So it was a busy week, but I got a lot done. Um, I did not wrap all my gifts um, that week. I was, de I was definitely wrapping on the 24th, which was really funny, but that's just kind of how life is. This is the first time, at least recently, that I can recall using these teardrop sticky notes. I hadn't used them in a while and they came out perfect. They don't have lines and I think that's kind of why I struggled with it, but they were cute to just write a quick list on or write some quick reminders, throw it in my planner and, um, you know, keep it moving. So absolutely gorgeous. And I love the colors here. We got olive, we got this kind of like gray color. We got the black um, avant-garde sticky notes. And then we have beige, of course perfect layout honestly this layout from may y'all i loved it i need to find that purple highlighter but honestly like i haven't seen it since i moved so if you have any recommendations for a very like light almost lilac highlighter please let me know because this was absolutely gorgeous i really enjoyed this or at least looking at it when I was going through my inserts, I think because it just, it represents a very productive time in life before things got really hectic. And I also think it shows how sometimes I pull my whatever stationery I have closest to me and take notes. So I think this was a podcast I was listening to or like maybe a TikTok and it was about how to become mentally strong. And I honestly just grabbed whatever was closest to me and took some notes. So. Sometimes you'll find some podcast or, you know, content notes right along in my personal plans. Oh, this was cute too. I say I use like a little pink and green here. I like that. So these inserts are awesome from May. And what I really liked about this page in particular is I think it shows how sometimes you just kind of have to go with the flow. And if you don't have space, you need to make space. So this is actually from a notepad from Cloth and Paper. And I, I guess I clearly just needed space to write a to-do list. I grabbed it, ripped it out, and put it in my planner so now I can at least track it. And I took some sticky note, um, some washi tape, excuse me, and used that to put it right in my planner. So if you have a bound planner, I think that's a really great way to add like new notepads or more space to plan right in your planner. This is almost like a gray blue highlighter. That's really pretty though. Another week where I'm like, what the heck was going on that week? I have no idea. Oh, this was an oddly productive week. I miss writing quotes on the top of my inserts. I need to start that again. It's another example of just like chilling on the weekend, not doing anything. I love it, okay. So cute. This insert made me laugh because I think it shows how differently I planned throughout the year. I was super serious about crossing each day off and, you know, checking my planner every day. This is when things were like not as hectic as they are now. Um, things have definitely changed, so nothing is as neat as that, but it reflects just how as life changes, like your plans have to change as well. The final insert I will show is this personal implementation ledger. I kept these in the notes and lists section of my half letter planner for like half the year. And then to be honest with y'all, I took it out because I wasn't really looking at it. And I think that speaks more to me than the insert itself. But for this um, particular insert, I wanted to kind of track my reading. I did not read 40 books in 2023. Maybe that's why I took it out. I knew it wasn't happening, but I really liked this layout because it encouraged you to really think about 
you know, how to implement your goal, right? So my goal is to read 40 books. And then what do I need to accomplish first in order to do that? I need to donate books, which is so hard for me because I love writing in and annotating my books. I need to create a TBR, a to be read list, um, and then actions to reach the goal, you know, read three to four books per month. So it really helps you to lay out how to accomplish your goal. Loved it. To not follow it because life got hectic but um i'm gonna try to track down these inserts or potentially buy more but honestly like, this year i'm not trying to buy like a ton of inserts so i might just grab some mind notes or graph paper whatever and kind of plan out the goals this way i don't know we'll see i didn't use the back of it so technically i can use this again i just don't know where those inserts are to be honest with you i probably donated them I probably recycled them by now just be honest with y'all but that was 2023 in a nutshell it was planning as i went adding tons of notepads and sticky notes using highlighters and adding affirmations to my weekly inserts writing a long to-do list i love how all of these inserts here just embody what 2023 was for me at least from a planning aspect it was a fun planning year and honestly i'm looking forward to what 2024 has in store. Well, thank you so much for watching this shorty episode. Let me know in the comments below what you're gonna do with your 2023 planner or your inserts. I'm curious how other people handle kind of switching out the old and replacing with the new. If you have any questions about the products that you've seen in today's video, let me know in the comments below or you can send me an email, I'm okay with that too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.